The San Francisco Police Commission holds a hearing to discuss whether or not to outfit police with tasers. Protesters force the shutdown of City Hall. Public comment on the issue of outfitting San Francisco police with tasers quickly boiled over. Hey, watch out. Behind them, behind them. The police commission president suddenly stopped the meeting, but protesters rallied on for more than an hour. The session resumed on another floor. They then filtered in speakers. And I don't need to hear people swearing at me and questioning my blackness or my gayness or anything else. I know who I am, and I know what I must do, and I, I just need to hear the information and make a decision. A budget analysis puts the implementation of tasers at a cost of $8 million, including outfitting units with defibrillators as a countermeasure to the effects of taser electricity. There's a definitive risk for sudden death, um, but there could be some tight policies that we uh, put forth to try to mitigate some of those risks. I would like to ask those of you who are thinking about endorsing tasers, to please try it on yourself before you make that decision. African Americans and Latinos are much more likely to be tased, a researcher testified. Chief William Scott acknowledged this as he promised strong oversight and transparency in his bid for tasers. De-escalation is and will always be our objective. At last check, the meeting is still underway with public testimony wrapped up. The commissioners are now going back and questioning the experts that testified earlier. This meeting could go into the early morning hours, and at this point it is unclear whether or not the commissioners will vote and make a decision. Live in San Francisco, Katie Udis, ABC7 News.